Hey y'all, I'm back with another video and today I'm coming at y'all looking like a uh, raggedy and doll because I'm about to uh, take my hair from, see my hair been in this straight, I guess kind of straight, so see, for um, about two weeks because I stopped washing my hair back to back like that because you know what I realized? My hair really grow while it's dirty and uh, I don't want my hair to start breaking. So, um, this is how my hair is right now. It's all puffy and stuff. I never put heat to it in a minute. I really just been wearing it up, and I know that's not good for it. But if I was to wear it down, I would have to keep putting heat in it. So, that's even worse for it. Oh, my hair nappy, y'all. Ouch. is nappy see i'm not like no beauty guru and it's like okay so i'm gonna put my hair down and i'm gonna show y'all how it is before i put water to it no <laughs> my hair is nappy ouch i know i need a brush but this brush been holding me down for the longest i like it it worked good <laughs> ouch i'm tender headed by the way So, uh, now I'm about to just kind of section my hair and wet it. And this is how my hair get. My hair is so, I'm telling you, as soon as water touch it, it's uh, done. I don't know if y'all can see, but if y'all don't know, my hair is so dry. I always have dandruff. So, they have fucking dandruff dropping from my hair. Oh, my goodness. And my spray bottle of water. Yes, my dollar spray bottle. Which I'm really being extra doing this because I really could just uh, wash my hair because it's not, you know, really that nappy. I could comb through it. But I like to do it like this before I wash my hair because I like to really, you know, comb it out real good before I wash it because I hate combing out my hair. I hate washing my hair when it's not combed out. It's coming out. Okay, I put water to my hair. I just watch. Give it a few seconds. Look. Curling the fuck up already. I always start something and don't be feeling like doing it right after I started. <laughs> but it's too late now. And I never posted in two days, so I got to edit this as soon as I'm done and post it. So sorry about that. I think I'm quitting Vlogmas, by the way, too. Because I don't feel like y'all like my vlogs anyways. I feel like y'all like more like videos like this. So I vlog every once in a while. I feel like I know how to get better at vlogging now. Look my hair. It's curling up. It's not curling up all the way how I normally do, but. Once water hit it, it curls up. Okay, so this part combed out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just twist it up. I want y'all to see how it get, like, when it's real, real curly. I'm going to leave this part out just so y'all can see. Because these curls is really setting in. Look. If y'all can see. Soon as my hair hit water, like. And that's how I was when I was younger, too. My curl pattern wasn't like this because I would put perms in my hair. But, you know, especially ever since I went natural and cut all that perm out of my head, my curl pattern is crazy. I don't know what type of hair I have. I, I know it's C. I mean, it's three type hair. Three something. It's not full textured, but 
my curls is kind of tight, you know, not kind of tight, but I'm going to have to look up what type of hair I have. But yeah, so this really how my hair is after I wet it. So yeah, y'all see. Now I'm really about to just wet my whole head and comb it out. And I twist my head and put it in sections. So it could be out of the way while I'm doing the other parts. I'm probably going to title this video with my hair type. I just got to look up what my hair type is because I used to know what it was. But I don't really keep up with stuff like that. What I should do. Okay, I'm going to do half of my head. That's what I'm going to do. And that's how I'm going to put the thumbnail. I'm going to do half of my head. And I'm going to have half of my head kind of like straight. Not really straight, but you know, like this part is. And I'm going to let the other half be, um, this half be curly. And I'm going to put that as my thumbnail picture. I don't want to get it wet so it could be uh, straight. I'm telling you because my hair, once it touch water, it's a wrap. It may not look like immediately it's going to start curling up, but give it about two minutes. And as soon as that water hit it, it start curling. And these nails still don't want to come off my hand. Like, and I want to get my nails done for Christmas. Even though I still want them in this shape, I'm getting them different for Christmas, you know. But these don't want to come off. And this hand just about off. Oh, this one came off last night, as a matter of fact. Oh, shoot, I'm kind of wet in this part of my hair. I was just uh, fussing with my mama. And me and mama don't really fuss, but she kind of got on my nerves just now. But it was kind of a misunderstanding, but she still got on my nerves the way she did it. I was uh, talking to my little sister about because I just got a five stick and I was trying to, you know, plug it in my TV. And I was just asking her how to do it because I never had a five stick before. But it was simple, you know. So, uh, <clears throat> and she was like, I was like, yeah, me and mama just kind of got into it. She was like, no, you and mama never got into it. You got into it with mama. Girl, shut the fuck up and mind your business, bitch. You don't know what the fuck going on. They get on my nerves. That's why I say, uh, I can't deal with my family sometimes, to be honest. Not all of them, because my grandmother rather die, you know. When I'm wrong, she tell me I'm wrong, but she still ride or die. My little sisters and them, on the other hand, fake as fuck. Very fake. Like, I'm not clowning. I just can't fuck with them like that. And I'm starting to realize, and like I said in my other video, when I so say got emotional or whatever, and I so say I did. You know, I hate, uh, you know, saying that, oh, emotional. So I'm not the type of chick. But, um... Yeah, they, uh, like I was saying, you know, it's nothing wrong with cutting off toxic people. And I saw this picture, it was like, you know, uh, when they cheer for everybody around you, except you watch out for them, your friends ain't always your friends. And I looked at it and I was like, that's what family too. And that's a fact. So, I mean, if, if if you're really toxic in my life, and I'm telling you, I told my mom that before, mama that before, like, I didn't talk to my little sisters one time for, like, two, three months. And if, like, if you're toxic in my life, like, you gotta go. That's just how the fuck I'm feeling, like. And, uh, my other sister, she's so fake. But me and her don't get into it as much as... My sister, the one that I'm so say closest with, me and her get into it the most. She gets on my fucking nerves. I can't stand her. But then me and her be so cool with my other little sister. She kind of, I'm telling you, she remind me of me because she don't like being bothered. She like being by herself. And that's how I am. And I be calling, I be like, oh, she this and she that. But to be honest, she be reminding me of me because I be like, oh. 
like not that close to people aggravated like wanting to be closed off and by myself and that's how she is But she still got on my nerves because she fake. And the one that I be talking to, uh, like the one that's not really that closed off, she gets on my mother, my mother fucking nerves. I'm sorry. I said I was stop cussing, but look, when it comes to stuff like this, I'm going to just be real because, well, I'm always real, but you know, I'm going to just be authentic me and I cuss. I'm sorry. No. No, that's not gonna be a thumbnail. <clears throat> but yeah. <clears throat> and in situations like that, they always take everybody around besides myself side. Which to be honest, I did kinda get more mad with my mama. But nothing but my mama get on the phone and she like like my grandmother said, my mama like, oh, you grown, you can make your own doctor's appointments, which is the truth, but still like, okay, so you don't give a fuck about that, but you gonna tell me, oh, I'm going to do this. Don't don't come at me like that on no shit like that. She pissed me off in that, in that sense. And then she pissed me off, as a matter of fact, the other day, which I didn't talk to her. I ain't talked to my mama all yesterday, all today, and probably not the day before much either. <clears throat> she go, uh... So, I guess a video popped up to her phone, you know, that I had did on YouTube. And she gonna say, talk about, um, what is Kalisha doing? She, she playing on that internet this early? Playing on that internet. All right, watch when, I, watch when I'm successful in it. Then I'm gonna show you playing on that internet. Then you gonna see us playing on the internet. And why I say my family, it's like most of my family don't have faith in me. And what I'm saying is, I wouldn't have knew she was, you know, running her mouth about me, but my grandmother had her on speaker. But I'm really in the sense of mostly not giving a fuck no more. Because I go from being sad to, after that sadness is over, and that only lasts not long, to be honest. After that sadness is over, I don't give a fuck no more. And that's just facts. So, um, they're really pushing me to that point of, cause I used to talk to my mama every day and I'm just in, in a mood of not wanting to talk to my mama at all right now. Maybe I'll talk to her in a few days, but I'm just washing my hands for, with her right now, for right now because she's starting to get on my nerves. My little sister's in number, fake. And my other little sister, like I said, the closed off one, she don't call me unless she needs something. Fake. I don't fuck with people like that, like. I don't need people in my life like that. I cut off everybody else. They do that. So say friends. That's why I don't have really friends now. So, okay, if I'm not tolerating it from other people, I don't give a fuck if we blood. I'm not tolerating it from y'all either. And I was watching Trust TV in a video, and that's facts, you know. You don't got to deal with shit from your family just because they family. All the time, blood is not thicker than water. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying it like that because, you know, I don't have friends. And I don't. It's not that I don't want friends, but I just like to be by myself, you know, but if I'm honest, I'm in the process of really just not giving a fuck about uh, <clears throat> keeping a close relationship with a lot of my family members. And it's just facts, you know, and I saw this comment and I think y'all so much because I had so much good comments on that video, but somebody was like, you know, um, let your family know how you feel, you know. They love you, they your family, they gonna understand. Y'all don't understand how my family is. Now my family, if they don't feel like they doing nothing wrong, they gonna argue you down to why you wrong and they right. So why am I gonna talk, sit down and talk to them if they not gonna fully understand where I'm coming from or even really listen to me? I'd rather just not even deal with it, you know? That's why I be riding solo. I always be to my grandmother. Because my grandmother, she don't get on my nerves. I mean, my grandmother could get on my nerves. But then, at the same time, it's like she don't. Like, 
she could get on my nerves, but she just don't, like. My grandmother really cool people. And and my teenage, well, I used, like I said, I used to be so close to my grandmother. But the way my grandmother is in my teenage years, I stopped being so close to her. I stopped wanting to be around her all the time. Because, to be honest, I stopped kind of liking her. <laughs> it's not that I stopped liking her, but I just, I don't know. I felt like she was always on a bandwagon. Because my grandmother always been the type to hear me out and listen to me. Because, you know, if my mom was to say, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, everybody quick to jump on me. And you know how people is, they don't really listen to you. And my grandmother would be the type to listen. But once I became, like, in my, you know, a little, about 14, it was just, like, she was on the bandwagon, too, with just everything I did putting me down. And that's just how I felt. And not necessarily about getting in trouble because sometimes, a lot of the times, I was wrong, of course, when I was younger, but not all the time. And nobody really took the time out to really give a fuck about where I was coming from. That's why I have a guard up with my family, always, to be honest. Because now I see, like, okay, my gra to be honest, my grandfather, it felt like he was always a rider for my mama's side if me and my mom was to get into it. But my grandfather, he would take up, take up from my mom, especially when me and her was fussing. If I was fussing back, he was like, you know, he always automatically would jump to his side, to her side because he a man. Of course, she not go just okay. I'm disrespecting her. I'm fussing with her back. So you know, of course, he jump into her side. He don't care. He like shut up, shut up. But my grandfather is the type of person that always took time out, like the next day or days later, and he would come and talk to me. Like me and my grandfather, they had long conversations before. And he would talk to me and be like, you know, I understand. I know how your mama is. I know this and that. But see, this is where you was wrong. This is where she was wrong. You know how your mama is. And that's just how he, because he her daddy. He know how she is. He was like, you know, you know how your mama is. You know, she never accept if she is wrong. She was wrong in this sense, but you know what? It make you look even more wrong because you was disrespecting her. If you would have came up to her in a different way, then, you know, it would have been a different situation. And I would always been the type with a smart mouth and, you know. So, <clears throat> I did get myself in a lot of trouble. Even if it was a situation to where I wasn't even 100% wrong. But... It's always to blame for me for being sassy, you know, all this, all that. So, and my grandfather really made me realize that I'd be trying to tell my little sister that, to be honest. But <clears throat> I used to stress about my little sisters and this and that. But honestly, how I feel now, that's not my fucking children. And if my mom want to let them do this and that, and if whatever, whatever, I don't give a fuck no more. I don't even want to talk about this no more, but I'm just saying, like, my grandfather always been that person. My grandfather associated a mean one, associated a strict one, and he always the one that put his foot down in situations and would mediate the situations and, you know, fuss at us as if we was wrong. But really, to be honest, my grandfather, he really, he, everybody call him crazy, this and that, but he really a voice of reason, like, and not everybody understand that. Like, my brother don't understand that. But I guess my grandfather really come to me because I am the oldest. And he come to me and be like, look, I know you're going to understand. And he really talk to me. And me and him really, you know, talk. Like, I, I'm saying I understand him. <clears throat> but it's just like I'm not close with everybody like that, you know. And that's just what it is. So yeah, I'm I'm uh I'm almost done with this part. To be honest, I'm only gonna do this half of my hair on camera, cause this video is getting real long, anyways, and I've been talking the whole time, so it's not like I could really speed up most parts. <laughs> I'm um do this little piece. And I'm going to go do my thumbnail. Well, let me do this piece on camera. This video been a whole rant, but... Oh, goodness. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I never recorded in two days. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but with me saying all of this... 
I'm not really coming on here to bash my family. Because like I said, I do love them. We get into it all the time, but that's still my family. Ain't nobody go play with them. That's that. Because you know what? I am loyal to them. I love them. It's just that a lot of shit they, don't, they do don't fly with me. Like my grandfather said, that dog don't hunt. Not everything go fly or buy me no more because I don't need to take that no more. Like, so <clears throat> with that being said, I love my family. I understand them. I've been around them all my life, of course. I get how they is. It's just some shit don't fly with me no more, you know. So I really kind of just been doing my own thing. And the closest person I really been to... Really, uh, since I moved over here was my grandmother. Well, really, to be honest, all 2018, the person I've been closest to was my grandmother. Maybe not at the beginning of the year, but, yeah. So, this is how my hair is after I, uh, you know, wet it and comb it out. Shoot, this brush is wet. Whatever. Let me just hurry up and do this. I'll do the thumbnail before my hair start frizzing up. So yeah, my hair went from this to this with the quickness. So let me go take that thumbnail picture because my hair is crawling up. Brb. I oh, know. I'm gonna just do the thumbnail like this and uh screenshot it. I'm do the thumbnail like this and get it out the video. Now I got the thumbnail. I'm about to do this side of my hair while I'm watching the show, while I'm watching my show, and then I'll be back with my final remarks or whatever to close out this video so bye see y'all in a few okay now i'm done with my whole head this is how my hair is <laughs> when it get wet naturally this is my curl pattern whatever it is i should have looked it up but um yeah so this was i don't know what i'm gonna name this video i guess straight to curly or whatever but this my hair texture and it's uh how my hair is my hair shrink up a lot when it's wet well not that much well it's gonna shrink up more because it's uh when it get dry it's gonna definitely shrink up more so yeah i'm about to go uh well i just started my show so i'm about to finish my show then i'm gonna go take a shower and wash my hair so bye see y'all in the next video love y'all thank y'all for watching